Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step, book 5, page 10. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. All right, so we have this problem. We have 2, 2, 1. 3 s3 equals 24 and here we have 0 4 3 6 x3 equals 39 and here we have 4 1 2 4 s3 equals 33 all right so we're going to solve this now from the sample we've been given or from the problems we have in this text, S3 is constant, like it was given all through. So we are meant to find, work with this, and find out how each of those parts we are gotten, including this. All right, so let's look at it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment um, for more problems and solutions. So let's find 24 to find 24. We're going to have two plus two plus one plus three, right? So that will give us two plus two, four plus one, five, five plus three, we have eight, okay? So eight times this three here, that will give us 24, okay? To find two, let's find this two. Let's call this A and B. So let's find A. We're going to firstly divide this. So we're going to have 24 divided by this three. That gives us eight. Okay, so remember we're looking for this 2. So we're going to add this ones. 2 plus 1 plus 3. Okay, that gives us 6. So 8 here minus 6. We have 2. And to find... You can also apply the same method in looking for the 2 with the B. Okay, so we have 24 divided by 3, that gives us 8. So 2 plus 1 plus 3, that gives us 6. So 8 minus 6, we have 2. So to find 1, we have 24 divided by 3, that gives us 8. And 2 plus 2, plus 3. So this gives us 7. Okay. So 8 minus this 7. We have our 1. Right. And next we're going to find. To find 3. We have 24. That's this 3 down. Okay. So we're going to have 24 divided by the 3 with the S. We have our 8, right? So we're going to add the rest. 2 plus 2 plus 1. That gives us 5. So 8 here minus 5. We have our 3, right? So let's solve the other one to see if we're going to arrive at similar answer using this method. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Okay, so let's go ahead with this. To find 39, we're going to have 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. That gives us 13. Okay, so we have... 13 here times 3, we have 39. To find 0, we have 
39 here divided by 3 that gives us 13 okay so 0 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 okay that gives us 13 so 13 here minus this 13 we have a zero to find four here going to have 39 divided by 3 that gives us 13 0 plus 3 remember we're looking for this 4 plus 6 that gives us 9 so 13 minus 9 equals 4 to find 3 that's this 3 here up here we have 39 divided by 3 that gives us 13 so 0 plus 4 plus 6 we have 10 so 13 this 13 minus 10 we have 3 to find 6 this 6 here we have a uh, 39 divided by 3 that gives us 13 hence we are going to add 0 plus 4 plus 3 equals 7 so 13 minus 7 gives us 6 all right so if you apply this same method here you will definitely come up with the same answer so we can just try a part today don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems so let's try to find 39 33 33 we have 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 okay that gives us 11 so 33 3 times 11 we have 33 okay so when you apply the same method here you're going to definitely come up with the same answer all right so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems bye for now